Welcome back. This video continues where the last video ended, so for context, make sure to watch the preceding videos. Ten. Okay, that's really ridiculous, but kind of shows you what you can do. So let's go to four. Let's just go back to two. So you can see we created this sort of rib feature, and uh, yeah, you should be able to. Um, from my understanding, you should be able to create some intermediate ribs like this. Um, this is going to be a bit difficult to. It seems quite stable anyway, even being blue. Um, go back to this web feature and include this by holding control. Yeah, so you can see it's created a extra rib. So the reason that this web feature goes all the way to the end is because when you don't specify, when you don't include the endpoints that go to an actual piece of geometry, auto, uh, sorry, Fusion 360 auto completes this line so it automatically extends to the next piece of geometry that it, it interacts with. So we can go to finish sketch and include that line again. I'm assuming this depth here, whoops, you can change, change the depth and make this a little less thing, that's ridiculous. So yeah, we can not have to go all the way to the bottom, we can create just at the top for whatever reason. Um, so that's kind of looks like some sort of joist sort of thing now. And yeah, so if we have something like this, the boss, so if we would want to put them to strengthen this kind of boss, because if it wasn't reinforced with these triangular kind of ribs, it would be much more likely to break than if it had these like um, reinforcement sort of outriggers sort of thing. So to do that, I'm just going to create a, a platform, just like I did in that example there. And again, I've got to create a dimension because fusion doesn't give them to me anymore and we're going to go to finish sketch select this profile we're going to pre press e and let's just do about five mil extrude it by five mil so now we can add our boss and we're going to do that by printing, uh, pressing c for circle selecting this face because fusion's like where do you want to start your profile uh your drawing sorry and we just clicked on this to say this is the one we want. And the quick way to get it in the middle is to, because there's no points that we can see where the middle is, what we can do is go along until we see the triangle and then go down a bit and we see it gives us kind of like a, a dashed line. And you can do the same thing on the other side and you get a triangle and it creates a dashed line. Now Fusion will kind of remember about what you did before and keep both of those dashed lines. And then when you get to the middle, it will have them appear like so. So now you know that is the center. So we're gonna make something like 10. And even though that is the center, it's still blue. So what you can do is just add a dimension Add a dimension here. You can see that would be perfectly the same. So both 37.5. Um, yeah, so we're going to hit this. We're going to press and select this profile. Then we're going to press E to extrude. I'm going to extrude it something like 50 mil. Okay, that's ridiculous. Uh, 20. There we go. So now what we're going to do is create a mid plane. So to do that, we're going to go to construct and click mid plane. So we're going to click two faces. So like that, and that will create a plane in between those two faces and click OK. Now this isn't 100% necessary, but it kind of annoys me. So I'm going to grab this edge of this work plane and where it's kind of a green line and just drag it up. So now it looked like it was meant to be for the middle of this cylinder, which is what we want. So we're going to hit L for line tool, and now we're going to select the, the plane that we want to start a sketch on. So I'm going to click this plane, and now we need to do one more thing, and that is we don't have anywhere to snap onto. 
So we're going to have to project the geometry onto our sketch plane. So we're going to do that by pressing P for projection. And now we're going to select, I'm just going to do the whole body because it's quicker and I can do it in one click. So I'm just going to click this and click OK. So now we've got loads of places to click onto. So I'm going to go back to the line tool by pressing L. And I'm just going to create, let's draw from about here to here. Doesn't really matter. Now we can go to sketch dimension by pressing D. And we're going to select here and here. Whoops. There we go. Let's change that to 15. And for here, we're going to make this. We're going to click these two dots and we're going to make this 15 as well. So now we go to finish sketch and go to create rib. And uh, let's make this a two mil. Click OK. So let's say we want them uh, going all the way around the part in four. Well, let's say we want four ribs at 90 degrees to each other. So what you can do is go to circular pattern. So we're going to click on circular pattern and we're going to make sure our type is features because this is a feature that we just created. You can also select it here. So click on that. And for the axis, we're going to use this rim, this circular rim. You can also select this circular rim. But we don't want to select this, any of these lines or this line. We want it to be how we want to rotate the pattern, sort of, if that makes any sense at all. So we're going to select this rim here. And usually it's on free by default like that, which is, I don't know, that looks kind of nice in a way. But in this example, we want to make it four. We could make it even more if you're going to go crazy. But four is usually totally fine. And we're going to click OK. So there we go. We created our ribs that will make this a heck of a lot more stronger. And of course, at this point, you probably want to add um, kind of Phillips. So we can do that by pressing F for Phillip. You can also go to modify and fill it here. So we're going to select this line and just put something like 0.5. Uh, okay, maybe one. And we're just going to select each of these lines here. Like that. Of course, we could have done this before we created the uh, pattern, but it's totally fine to do it afterwards. And I've just missed this one, so I'm going to click back on our feature by double clicking here. This is a great thing about parametric modding, is that we can modify what we just did by clicking on the timeline feature. And we're going to hold control and select this one as well. Now we can click OK. So now we have really nice looking ribs or gussets. So the last thing I wanted to show you was this one. If I can find it, that is. There we go. So I'm going to just delete uh, this amount because I really can't be bothered to make this thing again. And I'm pretty sure you'd kind of get the gist of how this was made. So we've got a, a boss here, which is probably going to break because, you know, some stupid man named Neil decided that he's going to is going to push on this or he's going to tighten a screw extremely hard or something stupid because his name's Neil. So what we need to do is create a web and essentially uh, what we need to do is create it from the top plane downwards. So if we press L for line, we can select this face here and now we can draw a line Outwards. So what we want to do is mess around with our cursor a little bit until we created that dashed line thing. And now you can see it kind of snaps on the edge here. Now we can draw it to here and it snaps as well. 
and click this little green button to finish it. Do the same thing here and it kind of snaps there and we could create it like that actually but I want to show you using the pattern. So let's say we created like that and click finish sketch and go to create web and we can't do rib it just won't work with rib that's going to show you that actually if we do rib then we get some nonsense like this it just doesn't know it doesn't know how to interpret it essentially so we're going to click cancel and we're going to go to web and then select this and i'm going to make this a little bit thinner make it about one click ok so now we want one here but we don't want to have to model it again even though we could have just easily created that sketch and another one but let's say this is how we were given the file and we wanted one here too so we do not want to have to recreate it from scratch and we can't exactly mirror it mirror it sorry because it's if we mirror it, it's gonna be on this side like this um, if we sorry do there it's going to be created here which is what we don't want we want to create it at 90 degrees so what you can do uh, is go to circular pattern and we're going to go to features we could either click it here but i prefer here click there and we're going to do what we did before and select the circular axis here and even though it seems silly we want to actually select four because by doing four we create them, create them at 90 degrees and what we can do after we've created the ones and you can see actually if we create four Fusion 360 automatically extends it to the nearest geometry but it doesn't matter because and also you notice that there's nothing here because there is no geometry it would have to extend to infinity to reach any geometry so for that reason it's it doesn't exist and as i was saying we don't actually want this so what we can do fusion gives us the ability to select that profile and just hit the delete key perfect exactly what we want so now we have ribs just like so so now what we can do is just i don't know add some fillets make it look nice and make it 0.5 uh, we do it in here like that beautiful uh, maybe even in here beautiful perfect there we are beautiful you can even do it here actually um like that that's annoying there we are beautiful um there we go perfect so there we go now we've got a much stronger boss that would have been kind of crappy if we hadn't supported it using these ribs or technically webs if you want to go that route um so yeah so that's basically ribs um of course you could use the ratios to create them uh, kind of, you know, engineeringly accurate or again to, you know, I, I don't even really know what I'm trying to say, but I think you kind of understand what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, so that's how you create ribs. I hope this video helped and uh, yeah, uh, I'll catch you in the next one when uh, we're going to be looking at something even better. Ciao for now. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Or if you found it horrendous, please feel free to insult me in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video if you haven't already. And the next video. Catch you in the next one.